day! Welcome back to my channel where I answer your concerns and give tips regarding the nutrition. I am Dr. Adeliana Resembaldes, your registered dietitian nutritionist. Without further ado, let's get started. I posted a TikTok video yesterday so that I can know your concerns by commenting it and using the hashtag AskDrValdez from Handbody. Nag-positive po yung GF ko sa COVID. Uhu, what foods can I get for hair po? Okay. To answer your question at dahil ongoing pa rin ang research about COVID-19, we really don't know the exact vitamins, nutrients, or foods that can help defeat the virus. However, we can help ease or fight its symptoms. Bago ka magbigay ng pagkain sa kanya, importante na parehas kayong mayroong safety precautions like social distancing. I suggest na kapag dinalan mo siya ng food or groceries, uh, iwan mo na lang sa pinto niya, ganun. Huwag wala nang yakap-yakap kung ayaw mo mag-quarantine din. While buying or preparing foods, please follow the safe food handling practices. If symptoms include body ache or fatigue, it might be related to dehydration. So, fluids is a must. I suggest soups, ganun. So, kailangan lang mag-hydrate. If symptoms include inflammation, I suggest foods that have beans, whole grains, fruits like avocado, vegetables like dark leafy greens. If symptoms include loss of smell and or taste, I suggest that make foods that have stronger flavors and that contains more herbs and spices. However, avoid using too much. So, if hindi talaga makataste or makasmell, you have no choice but to appreciate the physical appearance of the food or find ways to distract yourself while eating. Overall, I recommend choosing or making foods that fits the symptoms the person has. I hope gumaling na girlfriend mo, Han Poggy from SKZ. Do I really need carbohydrates po ba if palagi ako nag exercise Yes, as we know, carbohydrates is a ready supply of energy, kaya mabilis din siyang nauubos. The intake of carbohydrates depends on the intensity of the physical activity. So, the higher the intensity of the physical activity, the higher intake of carbohydrates is required. However, hindi lang carbohydrates ang kailangan natin para mas maging maganda ang performance ng ating activity. Para mas maging maganda ang performance ng ating muscles, cardiovascular, and nervous system, kailangan natin ng potassium dahil sa siyang electrolyte, pati na rin ang protein para maging maganda ang energy and recovery before, during, and after workout. Next is from Love Stay 8. What nutrients are the best po ba against COVID? Okay. Nakakatuwa naman na marami nang nagiging health conscious nowadays. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxine. It is a water soluble which means that we need water to absorb it. It has non-essential amino acids that are needed in their body na tinutulungan ng B6 ma-form. Potassium. A recent study showed that yung mga food na sagana sa potassium and mababa yung sodium Related siya sa pagkakaroon ng stable na blood pressure. Lower risk din siya sa pagkakaroon ng stroke, kaya it is important to have a healthy heart. Iron. Isa siyang mineral na nakakatulong sa pagkakaroon ng enough oxygen sa buong katawan. Kailangan natin siya para makaiwas sa iron deficiency anemia na kung saan ang katawan natin ay vulnerable sa mga infections. Lalo na mga yung pandemic na maraming nagpupuyat or maraming kumakain ng mga instant foods like cup noodles or pancit canton. The famous vitamin C. Bukod sa pag-support niya para mas magkaroon tayo ng healthier immune system, marami pa siyang natutulong sa katawan natin like healthier skin, wound healing, and it helps our body to absorb the iron. Macronutrients which means that they are macro or it requires a large amount. They are the carbohydrates wherein the lack of carbs can lead to lack of energy and weakened health state. Protein to build and repair body tissues and fight viral and bacterial infections. 
fats, especially the unsaturated fats that comes from plant foods like avocados, nuts, vegetable oils. These fats can actually help lower your cholesterol, reduce your risk of heart disease, and improve your overall health rate. Next is from Auntie Lino. I'm a working student po and alam kong napapabayaan ko na yung health ko dahil stress sa modules and work. Can you give some tips po para sa aming mga laging pagod o puyat? Okay. It is understandable na marami talagang pagod na ngayon dahil sa pandemic. It can be from school, work, or just personal problems. Here are my advice to you. Drink lots of water kasi talagang hindi mag-function ng maayos ang body natin pag dehydrated. Don't skip meals kasi konting energy na lang ang matitira sa atin dahil wala na tayong nakukuhang energy from food. Avoid foods that can ramp up anxiety such as sugar, caffeine, and alcohol. Eat a healthy diet, get enough sleep, increase physical activity like workout or even dancing. Lastly, meditate or talk to someone you trust. That sums up our short video for today. And as Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Comment for part 2. Bye! Hey, let me know.